Odeon Cinema, they saw the success of the ticket sales in Saudi. Mm -hmm. They thought of, what if we bring it? So they brought Sattar. We didn't even thought about going to the UK. All right. Hello and welcome to The May Man Show. We are coming to you from our studios in Riyadh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And today we have the creative director and partner of Tilfaz 11, Ibrahim Al Khair Allah. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here on The May Man Show. Thank you, The May Man by herself. Uh, I'm very happy to be with you and uh, very excited to tell people what's going on. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on with you guys. You guys are always busy. Ever since I've known you in Tilfaz, you guys always keep yourselves busy. Let's start with the latest developments you guys are have been up to. So uh, Tilfaz and Neom have announced a agreement to produce up to nine film projects uh, within the next three years. What can we expect from this project or this agreement in general? Yeah, um, we're happy to announce that uh, Neom has all the facilities to make um, like a, the greatest project to be happen on, on Saudi and also in terms of locations, in terms of uh, equipment there, in terms of sound studios. As we know, uh, like a couple of uh, international films been shot there. Yeah. And now they want to sh put the light on uh, some locals uh, on their ground, and we're happy. Actually, I'm going tomorrow to do, to check out the place and to check yeah. out the. Uh, it's uh, like um, like let's say it's it, um, first scouting of the first is going to be tomorrow. All right. Okay. So yeah, it's going to be nine projects, either TV or films. It's up to uh, it's up to that good project to be. Um, in the upcoming three years. Okay. So, I mean, you're going to do your first scouting project, so, uh, you know, your first scouting trip. Mm. Um, but let's say, you know, like in your gut feeling, well, what would you, uh, from a creative perspective, what kind of content would you like to generate through this agreement? Yeah. Um, well, Neom got the, um, uh, the, uh, the ground there is, is, is rich. They got the, the, the sea, they got the mountains, and they got the desert. It's a beautiful landscape. Yeah, amazing. Um, so uh, also on top of that, they got the sound studios, which is the best on Saudi now, or maybe in the Middle East, yeah. where you can shot anything in, inside this studio. For example, uh, if you remember 300, yeah, the yeah, film, it was all, it, all the film, the entire film was shot in a studio. Okay. So you can shoot whatever you want. Okay. Uh, also, it's in the uh, you know the place of Neom. In the winter, they got the uh, snow. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We yes. never saw we never saw any film or series that have um, like it's a desert, but it's snowing at the same time. Yeah. So that's an idea. So that, a lot of ideas gonna be there. Yes. So it must be exciting for you as 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 a filmmaker. Yeah. I mean, it's the time to do. Uh, you know the sp spaghetti uh, western type of films. Yes, yes. Yeah. Like Bud Spencer and yeah, Terence Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I think it's it's the time to see something Saudi like. Yes. Yeah. This. this is definitely one of the projects going to be like that. Definitely. Okay. All right. That's 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 yeah. uh, that's interesting. And uh, so, aside from this agreement, uh, what other projects do you have in the pipeline? Yeah, maybe. Uh, okay, first of all, this is my first English interview, yeah. so excuse my it's French. Okay. I mean, we, you, you and me are, are, are uh, getting out of our comfort zones. I've yeah. done my first Arabic interview. You know. Yeah, I saw time. that. It was amazing, by the <laughs> way. Oh, okay, well, thank I you. hope I get Yanni nah. to a certain point similar to what you did, inshallah. Nah, I'm, so, I'm sure you, you already are doing better than you think. <laughs> inshallah. Uh, so in Tilfaz, we've got the uh, these three lines that each one got a slate. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one, it's a slate of films that goes directly to the uh, S-Votes. Okay. And the other one, we call it an international slate, uh, which is going to be under Tilfaz 11 Studios. Right. Um, this slate take the whole road of the film. Try, <clears throat> try to hit the A-list festivals and other festivals, and then box office. And then as votes, and then the rest of planes and the other um, ways of showing the films. And why we want to do that? Uh, if you want to do, uh, if you are insisting, yeah, if you if you're if you're doing an international slate, it will help you to 
to be on the uh, festivals not as an attendees. No, it's going to be with participating. Participation, event. yeah. Yeah, uh, that will give you um, like an upper uh, we'll position you, yeah. uh, with the musicians, with the directors, with the actors, with the all the international market. If okay. you didn't do that, he will say, yeah, all right, you got the local okay with you. Locals love you, but what about the international? What about the international audience? Yes, and usually when you go to all these events and yeah. festivals, talent likes to interact with talent, you know, on, sure. a, on a potential business level. So this got us late, and then the domestic slate, and we call it Shemesi Films, okay, which will focus on what the domestic like. All right. And the first baby of that was Sattar. All right. Yeah. Let's 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 get into Sattar. Sattar is 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 actually you know uh, a phenomenon when it comes to uh, Saudi <sighs> filmmaking, and uh, you know my 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 invisible hat off <laughs> to you for 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 this Thank project. You so, much. Uh, so this movie, when it opened, I remember uh, in in Saudi Arabia, you had you know some stiff competition. You had a a, a movie released from Egyptian. Mega star uh, Mohammed Al Hanedi. You had some great blockbusters. Oh from yeah, Hollywood. Uh, oh yeah, the ro- the road wasn't easy. But at the same time, yeah. you guys were number one. You know, you broke uh, all box office uh, sales in in Saudi to the point where a lot of theaters were disposing of the other offerings and making sure they had more theaters offering Sattar. For Sattar, yeah. Uh, you guys, uh, the movie's popularity was so immense that it was even viewed in cinemas. In the UK, yeah. So, how did this happen? Oh wow, uh, it's an amazing journey. I'm very proud of Sattar journey. And before that, this is my first project being a producer. Yeah. And I learned a lot from being a producer. That I know that for now, I have much respect for all the producers because they open the project and they close it. Okay. From all the aspects, so he need to be aware from. The director point of view and the sound pro point of view and every technicality in the film, he need to be aware of it. So let's start with Sattar. And Sattar, I, uh, I had to, um, I had to thank the Egyptian uh, film industry because they knew how to enter the market. Okay. And I, I see in in their films and in their performances, I see how they tackled the. Saudi audience. Okay. And I was like, all right. So Saudis love this and that. Music, comedy, humor, shorter format. So how about if it's a Saudi taste? Okay. They will love it. Mm-hmm. And um, I was entering the film with the target is no lose. Mm-hmm. You win can't by lose. any means necessary. Like yeah. when... If you're get, getting out of the film with a break even, that's a win. Okay. So was the minimum? The minimum for me is to break even. Okay. So that was the first challenge. And before dropping the film, I was looking where is the opportunity that I can be there. So here in Saudi, there is Middle Beast. All right. So I was like, I have to be in Middle Beast. Okay. How? Because we produced uh, a music um, album. Okay. With the film. All right. For those who didn't watch the film, the film it's about wrestling. So each uh, each wrestler got an intro. Yeah, they have an entrance music. Exactly. So, yeah. and I have a character, a Saudi character. And each each wrestler is a Saudi character, or 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 a character lived in Saudi. So a shawarma, yeah. a, shawarma a guy. Cutter, yeah. Uh, yeah. So what is his intro? Okay. It's it, it must be like because most of the shawarma. Like chef says Turkish, so it's gonna yeah. be a Turkish song. Okay. So the Turkish song here and the uh, Samri song is there, and the uh, <clears throat> one of the wrestlers was a group of people that they love to listen to house music, mm-hmm. and it's um, what they call it when they leave the cassette in the sun and it becomes very fast. Uh, what they call yeah, it. Uh, but- it's 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 a fast paced version of this. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> it's it's by nature, by the way. It's not. Yeah. So this song for them, it was that type of song. So each song in 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 the end, we got like ten tracks, okay. ten original tracks. Mm-hmm. So what, what should I do with this with this the, these ten tracks? I throw it a Middle Beast. All right. Now a Middle Beast Sandstorm, in the XP. Okay. 
So in the XP, I had a panel talk, talking to the producers. And out of a sudden, they I just announced there, and that was two months before the film. And announced that, oh, okay, I got a film, and this is the songs. Okay. I show the video clip. So the snowball yeah. from there started. Okay. At the night, uh, each artist from my film, I tried to push him here and there and put him. Some some of them got gigs, the others that doesn't have. So right. I pushed them in the lineup. And thank you, Middle Beast people. They, they helped me a lot on that. So the, the song is there before anything yeah. happened. And then Red Sea Film Festival came and Sattar is, is a, under a line called a production uh, okay. or a, a commercial film. Commercial film doesn't go to festivals. All right. But like what happened to Indiana Jones in Cannes, it was there, um, not in competition, not in anything. It's just, you can attend the perspective. Viewing, red carpet. So yeah. all that, it's giving like a media junket yeah. after after the film. So all that, it's a free media if you join these yeah. kind of it gives festivals. it the good exposure. You know, the purpose wasn't to win, but it was just to yeah. get it out there. So after that, what happened? The World Cup came. All right. And when, you know, when the World Cup came, every, everything goes to the <laughs> yes. World Cup. Even even the, the fast food, watching the World fast Cup. food restaurant, they will give you like a football with a burger. You know. Yeah. So I, I had to stop over there, <clears throat> over the World Cup finished. But the the talk is there. Okay. The small talk is there, and I keep teasing people. Oh, you saw what happened there? It's gonna be happening in one month. No, no, no. The minute the final finished, I dropped the trailer. All right. And then I dropped the video clips. And then I dropped the videos from the Middle Beast and the Red Sea. Okay. So now <clears throat> I created the... Um, the interest, the buzz. Exactly. Okay. And in the movie theaters, I learned the first weekend is the most important weekend. Yeah. If you hit it there, trust me, it's going to go. Okay. Yeah, what was the biggest film by the, by that time? The biggest Saudi film, and right. by the way, we dropped it in the week of Avatar two. Yeah, I know. The it's second a, week of Avatar two. I, I didn't remember which Hollywood <clears throat> movies were out there, but I knew you were you were in competition with some stiff Hollywood giants. I yeah, I will tell you the whole journey. Yeah. Uh, so after the second week of Avatar, um, I, I had to give the credit to uh, a CEO of a movie. He's called he called. Um, he told me, listen, the numbers of sci-fi films in Saudi is not that big. So Avatar 2 is not a competition for you. Okay. And in the worldwide, everyone is getting scared of Avatar 2. So everyone has decided not to put anything beside James Cameron. So All right. he told me, you're dropping in Saudi. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Let's go for it. The first weekend, Shams al Ma'arif was the Book of Sun was the yeah. the highest grossing film by, by 114 admission, All right. thousand admission, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> the first four days we had the the first Saudi grossing uh, film mm -hmm. by yeah. 159,000 admissions. All right, so the buzz is there. Mm -hmm. All everybody's talking. This that you can't find, and now there is a FOMO, and they they want to book a film, they cannot because it's busy. Yeah, there's no shows. If you want to attend, maybe in the morning show, yeah. maybe you will have a like a like an uh, very very an close viewing. to the screen uh, yeah. seat. So, halas, everyone and then, is trying to be. Everyone wanted to see this film, and also I can I want to salute all the team because I <clears throat> give a mission for everyone. All right. Go attend with people. Okay. So Hajjaj went to everyone with his domestic Hajjaj in Sharqiya. Right. Okay. Hajjaj. He attended with people. Yeah. And and before the film, uh, with the credits, somebody appear and say, "We've got the star here." And everybody's clapping the Snapchat. So you got free media from everyone. Yeah. And me and Riyadh and Jeddah, Rabi'a Qasim, uh, Shahad Qasim. You guys and dissected it in a strategic way. Yeah, each each guy from his city. So just right. go to your people, go talk to them, okay. be close to them, be humble. Let to them. your people show you some love. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you know? And also, uh, before even this massive uh, moves that we did, um, I can't forget what uh, Al Arraq did. He's a Kuwaiti director. Uh, he's, he's, he was, he was a, uh, 
a director producer at the same time whatever we have a problem he solve it at the same time okay hadri aziz shehri he got he d- he did the shayla with with the, with the shayla guy yeah so we got satar he's the he's the star what's going to be his song the entrance yes so um, we had a little little research about uh, what people love in the wrestling are you and um, whatever monday night raw finished and for example a hero over there when wins what happened in the internet they put a shayla which is the alternative music saudi music they yeah. put it they put it under his punch mm-hmm. celebrating that he's had the superman punch for example roman reigns like roman reigns yeah yeah so there is a cult over there yeah so the shayla shayla lovers they love wrestling so mm-hmm. it's, it's obvious it was Satar, a, it, it, we're gonna enter with the shayla yeah no brainer <laughs> okay so all the equations now is it's like start to crack by itself okay you got the shayla you got the songs you got uh the the actors you got the people around you everyone everyone is talking everyone is talking and the the most important thing comedy okay. people wanted to laugh mm-hmm. people doesn't want it to see they they wanted to see a crime or okay. or a story but maybe they're not um they want to be amused yeah while they're watching the movie because cinema now is new to saudi yeah, yeah. And now they're considering it as um, like a restaurant or it's an outing. Yeah, it's an activity. It's an activity. You, you can see it's a date night over there, mm-hmm. somebody with his wife. You can see with kids. Yeah. So I need to make the demographic you need to satisfy fit them for all. all. Yeah. yeah, fit for all. And um, I started seeing on Twitter uh, there is a teacher. Mm-hmm. She's, a, she's a presenter. Khadija Al-Wa'al. Okay. She's a teacher right now. She brought uh, students to the to the film. Mm-hmm. She's teaching something about film. I, I don't really know what it is. Uh, All right. But uh, hey, Khadija, salute uh, for bringing the kids uh, to the film. That was that was amazing. So we had Avatar in the first week. Mm-hmm. We are in the first week. Avatar was in the second week. All right. On that weekend, Avatar kept being on the first rank number one all over the world for a month okay not in saudi yeah yeah <laughs> not because satar is better than yeah. avatar of course it's, there is, it's, there is it's a lot of to the audience a bit yeah more. the audience doesn't want to stay three hours in a cinema the audience not all of them like uh um, there's a familiar lot of with factors. sci-fi yeah, exactly there's a lot yeah. of factors and the fact that you're bringing in a saudi movie to a saudi audience or even uh you know expats who are living in Saudi is a new ex- relatively new experience stuff. Yeah. so you know it's it's it, uh, it it gives you the uh interest the intrigue to to sit and watch this movie we stayed like five months on the cinema mm-hmm. which is uh no one did it no one did it the only one did it before is a six week yeah six weeks that's the maximum that's for Saudi film okay we did five months thanks wow. god and <clears throat> avatar 2 dropped Plain, Gerard Butler, uh, Shah Rukh Khan mm-hmm. in Patan. Yeah. And all of them, yeah. if we if we're not the first, we're the second. Okay. We came back in this in the next weekend. And I had a I had a stronger team with me every time. So it's weekends. The game right. it's weekends. Mm-hmm. In the week, we don't stay and watch. We dropped some, we leak some uh, some footage, scenes, some scenes. We link some behind the scenes. We we inter we interact with people. We 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 filmed the video that Brahim Hajjaj is uh, clapping with us uh, and with the crowd and everyone. Yeah. So people get encouraged. People at least put in their schedules. This is my film in the weekend. All right. The second weekend, the snowboard became bigger. Mm-hmm. And the second weekend, we got two hundred and fifty admission. Thousand. Okay. Two hundred fifty thousand. That's a good number. Add to the. 150,000? Uh, right? 59. 59,000, yeah. So, and goes on, and goes on, and goes on. So the snowball's becoming bigger. All right. Bigger, so and bigger, and bigger. Wh- what was, you know, uh, within, when the five months ended, what was the total attendance record? The last number we got is 906. 906,000. Yeah. 
That's a very healthy number. Yeah. Uh, for me, um, before we started, there was um, in the market. It was in the market. There, okay. is, a, there is a film called Wafat Rigala. Okay. It was 800 and something. All right. For me, I was like, I don't want to hit that number now. Maybe in the second film. Okay. But with the growing. Yeah. Aiden from movie, he told me, you will reach there. Yeah. Just wait. Just let it roll. I can, I can, I can see it. I can <laughs> yeah. see it. Just wait. And um, we hit, as I told you, Avatar, uh, and Plane. Um, every week there was a competition. Every week. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dr. Nabil, uh, the Mohammed Hinedi film. Um, the same producers of Min Ajli Ziko, the Egyptian, Egyptian head film in Saudi. All right. Uh, I, I forgot the name. I forgot the name. But we, we hit that number. Um, and then Patan, Patan Shahrukh Khan was was scary for me. Yeah, I mean, because Shahrukh Khan, Khan is an icon. Yeah, <laughs> he is. If you're playing video game, he's the last beast. <laughs> he's the last character. Right? <laughs> yeah. He's M Bison in Street Fighter. Yeah, he's Bowser and Mario. So, <laughs> <clears throat> all right. And we, we, when Patan came, um, the uh, the publishers, I remember Eli from Front Row. He told me, listen, Indian films. It's like that. Mm-hmm. They come three days, they go out. Yeah. So I imagine all the Indians, they get scared from our Pakistani community. They get scared of this film will been taken from the cinema, so we need to attend. Mm-hmm. In one weekend, Patan got eighty $80 million dollar in okay. Saudi only. Wow. Yeah. In yeah. Th- three days. Obviously, in those three days, no Sattar came back to number two. Okay. The other weekend, we came back to number one. All right. I'm going to take number two is still good if you're going against uh, Shadokhan. Man, tell Sattar, get out from the cinema. We, we are on only one week, number mm-hmm. three. The other is one or two. Either number one, number two. Yeah, and we're out from, from the cinema, not because mm-hmm. people not going anymore. All right. Just because uh, when Ramadan came, all the cinema yeah, drops. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the behavioral patterns of, of your All the cinema changes. drops. And yeah. then Eid, and Eid uh, oh, oh God. Eid al-Fitr, there was like more than 15 films, new right. films. Wow. So all the cinemas decided to drop all the films, old mm-hmm. films, and try with the new. All right. So, so for me, it was halas. It's okay, man. Five months, it's good, man. That's that, yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. So you had, you know, you you had the right team. You had the right uh, actors. Uh, you your promotional approach kind of reminds me of uh, Vince McMahon's uh, promotional <laughs> approach, yeah. bringing rock and wrestling together in the eighties for WrestleMania, yeah, yeah. partnering with MTV. Uh, aside from producing the movie, you were also you know acting in the movie. Um, what was it like getting into that character? And also at the same time, you guys received uh, some training from Saudi Arabia's yeah. first wrestling champion from Saudi Pro Wrestling, Naif Al Mutari. How you doing? Um, just just give us, you know, like a, yeah. an example. How did that come together? I was thinking of two things. One of the uh, one of the references of the film is Nacho Lebre. Yeah. When I see Na- when I saw Nacho Lebre, most of the fights it was. Uh, Depending on cables mm-hmm. and green green screens, yeah, I don't want I don't want that appearance. You want it authentic, yeah. And um, I've been following Naif from Tari and SPW yeah. before, and I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw it on Twitter. Imagine, really? Uh, yeah, a clip. One one of the people was making fun out of. Oh, check out those people. They think they, they want to do WWE. It's lame, but I can see the moves. It's amazing. Yeah, I saw it. I saw Oof. it. They, they, they do some hardcore Oof. stuff. Oof. Guys they... get injuries and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They jump from... They're doing sports entertainment full-fledged, <laughs> you know? Yeah, uh, and so I, I contacted the, the guy. I attended one of the shows. Uh, till now, Naif from Tari is posting that picture that okay. he thinks that I'm a good... Uh, Wrestling uh, creator or uh, choreographer. Yeah. <clears throat> so I went there. I asked Naif, listen, I'm doing a film. It's not going to be about SPW. It's going to be fun. It's going to be comedy. Yeah. Each one of you, I can give a character. So he worked with me. He, he bring all the wrestlers, all her, his friends. He, he brought me 11. Wow. 11 wrestlers. Yeah. All of them, either Saudis or, or, or locals. Um. 
I was like, let's do it. Uh, can you train the people? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm training all of those people. Yeah. Uh, he trained me, he trained Ibrahim Haddad to look good. Okay. And um, what's funny about that, uh, Ibrahim Haddad, he said, I want to do all the uh, all the moves. Yeah. Yeah, he, he couldn't, of course. Yeah. It's, it's, very, it's very hard. The double is one of those SB. SBW. Yeah, S S W. Yeah. Yeah, well, he underestimated, I guess, what it uh, what it what it takes to be a professional wrestling performer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he didn't, but he <laughs> he loves he loves wrestling. Yeah, yeah. I I chose him because I know he follow. Yeah, uh, because I, I'm a big fan of. Yeah, uh, yeah me too. I think that's that's the one thing yeah. us, us three have in common. That's so. uh, why we all bump into that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he was wearing an Undertaker uh, T-shirt. Yeah. And he was just finished by his uh, Ramadan hit show, Min Waladna. And I called him, Ibrahim, listen, I got a film. I got to talk to you about a film. You had an answer. I was like, okay, okay, tonight, tonight. And then I called him again. It was in, on Snapchat. I saw the T-shirt. Yeah. It's like, listen, I want to talk to you about something on your, sh- on your shirt. I was like, okay. what, Undertaker? You am not going to act with the Undertaker? I was like, ah, something like that. Not yeah. really. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> yeah. Like, خلاص, two hours, FaceTime. That's it. Finish. Right. He's in. He was in. He was in. Um, so, uh, you know, you, this is just a one of, of men, a plethora of projects yeah. that you guys have done in your history of, of, of founding Tilfaz. Uh, so tell us a little bit of how you guys started uh, Tilfaz 11 Studios. Uh, Tilfaz 11 in general. Mm-hmm. Started be, um, with the initiative of Ala Yusuf and Ali Kalthami. Yeah. They wanted to do something different. They wanted to help uh, all the photographers, the OPs, filmmakers, anyone got a story. And they started it with uh, Laik Thir Show. Yeah. With Fahd Abtari. And uh, how did they know Fahd Abtari? Because Ala and Ali. They uh, they are uh, filming for uh, Smart Production, Peter Hartley. Yeah, stand up comedy underground back in the two thousand and six or seven. Yeah, back in the early two thousands, I remember that movement <laughs> pretty well. Yeah, uh, so I think because of stand up comedy, mm-hmm. Dilfaz Eleven happened. Yeah, and be- because I'm a comedian over there, Fahad suggested me to the guys. I started writing uh, like through with them. And then the magic happened. Yeah. Show over a show over a show over a show. Guys, we need to stop whatever work we're doing. And we need to do the uh, the studios. And uh, from day one, we wanted to hit the films, but there is no films. And we wanted to hit the TV shows. And you know how hard to enter any group in on the TV. And um, there were only maybe four or five. Yeah. And it's not easy to get into them and if you go into them you will get the roles i tried that if you look at my uh, biography you will see a lot of uh, small scenes in gasham sham small scenes yeah. in you Kashmir dabbled Pash. here and there yeah, just, yeah, you know yeah, just to yeah. get yourself out there and get the experience so like you know um what's the significance difference uh, between being you know a comedian Trans- uh, and an actor and what's the distinction between acting and producing to you what do you feel more comfortable doing I mean because of uh, being alone in the internet you have to do everything yeah we had to plug in the mics we had to put the lights we have to do everything even, even it's wrong <coughs> and because of internet you can see the behind the scene of any other films you can see the know how you can see master classes you can see you can attend trainings while you're home right. because of internet and that's what happened we learned from sketches we learned from producing small stuff we learned from being together every time every time we filmed anything a guy could, like i find himself like oh i'm good in the editing i will continue editing oh i'm good in directing i'm good in writing being a producer I think because of the internet as well, because yeah. of what happened in the internet. It was the, what we call it, the gorilla movement. Like everyone can do everything. Yeah. I mean, I even had fun, uh, you know, dabbling in this with you at one, one point in my career when I worked yeah, yeah. 
NBC and you uh, were part of the uh, Tim Sah team. Yeah. We ended up having Tim Sah on NBC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What an amazing <laughs> character. <laughs> that was that was one of the moments uh, I w- I'm not going to forget, you know, because it was, you know, gave me uh, an opportunity to express some creativity that I don't usually <laughs> yeah. get to express on TV. Um, so b- b- before we wrap up our interview, uh, I just want to give everybody a small taste of, of what your improv uh character comedy is like so pick one of your characters oh that, no that you, you have to give us a couple of seconds <laughs> worth <laughs> what i don't know what first of all it's in english i don't know how yeah. to do it's it okay. you can it. say it in arabic you know but one of the the greatest character that i love that i ended his career or, uh, in in Ansatar, which yeah. is the the Pakistani character, I love Khat al Khalid. Now and every now and then, I receive any uh, a new a new thing that they put the song "Ana Ma Fi Khawf Min Kafil." Yes, the the phenomena song. For That's this how it character. all started, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And they put it in and some Pakistani carrying uh, a big fridge or yes, yes, yes. <coughs> tell tell yesterday. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, <coughs> yeah. So Abdul Khalid. انت مالو ما ستر رو يو كي انا في كلام كيف رو يو كي كيف رو يو كي عشان كل دنيا محبه ايوه ايوه كلام بريطاني ايطالي دي انا يجي ايوه هذا فيلم ستر انت لازم تشوف لازم تشوف عشان كلام هذا كيف عبد الخالق يجي اوكي ايوه عبد الخالق مو فيري انجلش فيري ويل بات هي دونت توك الات بس شوي انا بس ما في ما في كلام كثير انا ما في كلام كثير. I tried. No, no, it's good, it's good. Does Abdul Khalid carry big fridges like Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. And uh man, we can sit and do this for another oh, yeah. six to seven hours, but we're going to wrap up our interview. Before we finish up everything, is there a personal message you want to give the audience before we wrap up? Um anyone wanted to wanted to do a film, just focus on doing a film and uh on sending the messages of the film or you 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 want to you want to say something in a film what do you want to say you want to say to who mm-hmm. for, for for this stage we cannot talk to the whole world yeah. just talk to a certain audience just pick the audience and talk to them okay. what happens now in the cinemas and what happens in the uh, saudi uh, filmmakers they wanted to talk to the international industry and the big festivals i mean not now yeah. talk to your audience Your audience will send the love to the world. Yeah. Exactly what happened to Sattar. I didn't plan to put it on the UK market. And by the way, it's the first Saudi film to be in, in the, the UK market. In the UK market by tickets. Yeah. Any other films? Maybe was there in BAFTA or any festival? Yeah, like a but, festival. Like a festival. Mm-hmm. But Odeon Cinema, they saw the success of the ticket sales in Saudi. Mm-hmm. They thought of what if we. bring it so they brought sattar we didn't even thought about going to the uk all right it's it's for us it's easier to go to the us more saudis over there if we are looking for an audience an audience yeah so they picked it up we had a premiere there it was for me i remember it's in the it's in the local slate the domestic Mm -hmm. slate so even the gulf wasn't a target for us and by the way sattar was in the gulf not much of an admission But for me, I didn't even spend a penny over there right. because I want to hit the Saudi market. So back to the thing that I wanted to tell the audience, love the film, do it, spread it to the audience that you want, they want them, uh, you want them to see. All right. I wanted all the Saudi to see the film. And now yeah, a big number of Saudis watch the film and they will watch it because it's Very soon it's going to be in the S votes. So, all right, it's pretty interesting. I mean, uh, you know, getting to your point uh, before we wrap up our interviews, always, you know, if you identify your audience and you create something for them, they'll yeah. show you love and get it out there. And to, uh, you know, modify a certain wrestling quote to your Sattar movie, if you smell what Sattar is cooking. <laughs> <laughs> But Sattar, yes, yeah, it's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks All right. for for coming on the show. Anytime, and anytime. Tune in to the one and only Man Show. See you later. Mm-hmm.